Hello everybody, welcome to Floss Tube number 35. We made it into a new year, all of us, even though Brom's not here today. It's just me for my whip parade, whip parade, whip parade even, <clears throat> and the chaos will ensue. So I hope you all had a really good New Year's Eve. And uh, um, welcome back, those of you that have, excuse me while I fiddle with the camera, welcome back those of you that followed through with us throughout the whole of December, <clears throat> give or take one or two days. I seem to have got a slightly gruff voice, so I'm just going to grab a quick drink for the moment. Bear with me a minute. This is going to try and, I'm going to try and do this in one take, because I don't really want to spend the rest of the night editing <clears throat> and it's going to be bad enough as it is with all the before photographs that I'm going to be popping in. Right, I've got notes here, which are quite important. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to launch into it. And I'm then and not in any particular order, apart from later on when I talk about the, the whips that I started in 2023. So the first one on my list that came up was Lilith of Labrador. This is a design by Mirabilia. I started it in 2022. This is what it looked like at the end of 2022, start of 2023. So most of the pictures are culled from floss tube number 25 last year, which was 4th of Jan, maybe. Something like that. So the it's on 28 count even weave in Ocean Cove by Fabric Flare. And this is where we're at at the moment. The stitch count is currently at 877 stitches of which 497 were done in 2023. I love stitching on this. I don't know why I don't do more. Um the fabric is really good fun. Um, somebody else is doing a mermaid on it and I can't remember who. That noise you just heard, one of the dogs having a good shake before laying herself down on her bed. Good girl. <laughs> it's the first time I stitch with silks. So this is a Karen Water Lily. So I'm going to have to turn the, the light up on something. Yeah, it might not be the, it might be the the screen bear with me i'm gonna to have to drop two things together bear with okay that's better because now i can actually see what you're seeing in terms of brightness i've got my the screen brightness ramped right down yeah so karen water lily silks just lovely to stitch with i do love this one um i could repeat myself throughout the whole of this don't know why i haven't stitched on it more well, i do know why those of you that have been with us for more than a year We'll know that at the tail end of last year, I had, I had a quite a bad sort of back injury caused by the cat. Go back and watch the floss tubes, it's much easier <laughs> than me trying to explain it. But um, so that put me out of action for a while. And then in August time, I also injured my arm. So I haven't stitched anywhere near as much as I would have liked to, or perhaps even should have. Um, but the only goals we set are goals and rules for ourselves. So if everything's been delayed by a year, then everything's been delayed. But at least that's where I've got to. This is all part of her tail. I think we can probably all tell that. Right. So that's Lilith of Labrador. Move that over there. Okay, next up, Dragon with Embroidery. Uh, where have I hidden him? There he is. So this is what he looked like at the start of the year. You can see the very little had been done. I can't remember exactly when I started him. He's on 14 count Ada. The artwork is Dragon with Embroidery by Nadezhda Kazarina. And it's on, as I've just said, 14 count Ada. I did it as a stitch along with Cross Stitch Bunny, Rogue Mama Stitcher, The Violet Stitcher and Kate X Stitcher. And other people joined in. So it was the hashtag Kazarina Dragon Sal. Currently at 1,832 stitches, of which 1,632 were done this year. And he's really starting to look like a little dragon. So, 
trying to get all the greens done before I move on to any of the other colours but some of it's going to be relatively impossible because he's got quite a long tail that comes down here so I wonder how long it'll be before I actually do his eyes I'm going to have to do his eyes and face I think next so and if you haven't gone back and watched all of our previous floss tubes the reason I'm doing this one everybody else seemed to do the dragon with pancakes don't know why but I suppose they thought it was sweet ah <laughs> But this one is a little chap with glasses on, sat in a red armchair, cross-stitching and with a little lamp over his shoulder. And it's exactly like Brom. So this I'm stitching to go in the corner beside him so that I can smile every time I see it. I think he's adorable. Next up is the Gaelic Blessing, Chiadme La Falsha, which means 100,000 welcomes in Gaelic. It is a design works piece. I did have the information out and I can't reach it now. Design works piece, which is a Joan Elliott. And this is what it looked like at the end of last year. And here it is today. Not a massive amount of difference. I suppose the whole Chad word and part of the border. Currently at 1,486 stitches, of which 860 have been done this year. Plus I did 1,031 backstitch. I've been doing it as I go along. But I probably won't be counting the backstitch for much longer. I'm going to try not to do, use this particular piece when I'm doing the Myth of Magic Stitch Wars. Because backstitch is just... Well, you can get quite a lot very quickly. Next on the list is the big one, um, Siren's Lament, artwork by Anne Stokes, charted by Heaven and Earth Design. This is what it looked like last year. And it has moved on considerably, so we've seen it fairly recently, but this is where we are now. We're at 25%. We have the head of the mermaid in place. Get you a bit closer, see if I can. There, just about there. I think. Oh, I can see a thing now, but hey ho, let's hope I've got it in the right place. Maybe pull back a little. Um, because I can't actually see through. I guess I can if I do that bit. Nah, there, that'll do. Right, yes, so we have a head of a mermaid. I mean, you can zoom in a little bit on that with her eye. And I recently did, uh, just here, <laughs> peeking through, <laughs> stitched on 25 count easy grid, using all the called for colours, of course, as you do with a hate. I don't know if I'm running out of places to put things around me. It's decidedly cramped in this general vicinity. So I'll put that there. <sighs> okay, so the next one up is my bane of my life. This is the cryptid cell. This is what it looked like at the end of 2022. I have not done much, I've, but I've done more than I thought I had, actually. I've done, um, it's currently sat at, oh, mm, hush my mouth. So going back to Siren's Lament. It's currently sat at 51,445 stitches, of which 15,688 were done in 2023. Bearing in mind that's 10th stitch, so it's really only half that. So you're looking at about 7,800, 7,900 stitches, um, cross-stitch equivalent. But it's still a significant portion. And as I say, we've got it to 25%. So... We're going to move it on and ideally if I could get it to another 10% by the end of the year, which would be another 20,000 stitches on it, I would be a very happy person. So back to cryptids. Cryptids is currently at 13,067 stitches of which 1,830 were done in 2023. So it's not a massive amount. Um, so this is what it looks like now. Um, and as you can see, we've done the Yeti. <laughs> the Yeti which from the back looks like a stormtrooper and 
in a flight suit and um, our hool has just been done. This is going to be finished this year. I need this to be finished this year. I want it gone. I want it done, dusted and gone. I think I have reconciled myself to leaving this border as it is. It is one stitch too far to the left, but I will have to wait and see how I feel once the corner decoration goes in the bottom. I might leave that out because it will be too obvious that it doesn't match up. What do you think? Thoughts always welcome because that's a lot of stitching. It goes all the way around. I did it all the way down from the bottom, all the way up. And it was one stitch too far to the right. I know exactly where I went wrong. I went wrong in the name cryptids. So it's not even just that side. It's the bit around the top as well, where the, the border is at the top with, the, I think it's the bats on it. There's a one stitch too many in, in the S. <clears throat> yeah, I found the mistake. But do I have, does it annoy me enough to rip it out and restitch it? Or can I live with it if I make some other modifications? And I've got a feeling I am going to be living with it. Because life's too short to rip out. Probably about 3,000 stitches. I don't know how many it is down the sides. It might not be that much. It might be two, 1,500, I don't know. Anyway. Let's move on. Um, oh, the, before I do, the fabric of that one is 32 count hand dyed Belfast linen in the colour by Heirloom by Pole Stitches. The next one up is Sleepy Hollow, I think. Yes, yeah, Sleepy Hollow. Let me reach over here. So Sleepy Hollow um, looked like this at the um, start of 2023. And it looked like that all the way through to yesterday. <laughs> And then I did some stitching on it yesterday and I have actually done some stitching on it today as well. I think it, let me just check. Yeah, it got called on Whipgo anyway, so I've got to do some work on that, but we'll come on to Whipgo in a bit. So this is what it looked like in 2022 to, to 23. And this is what it looks like now. We have a head coming in. Hang on, let me move the let me move the mind because it's a bit confusing if I leave it there. There we go. We have a horse's head coming in. Now, as mentioned in yesterday's Flossmas, I lost the PDF. So I had to rescan the chart and then go through and fill out the PDF with all of that. Apart from what I did today and yesterday, of course, um, before I could start work on it. And I didn't know that that was the case. If I had done, I would have dealt with it much sooner in the year. No idea where that's disappeared to. Not in any backups. Um, was working with the coven on this. I don't know how far my, my coven colleagues have got with it. We'll have to ask them. But I'm stitching it on 28 count Brittany Evenweave. Oop, wrong way around. That's the back. <laughs> comes to something when you can't tell, isn't it? There's my back. Um, <laughs> yes, it's working with the, our, my cover mates on this one. It's 28 count Brittany Evenweave by Sparklies and the colourway is Stormy Sky. Um, it's a little bit bluer than it's showing up on screen. We currently have it at 3,907 stitches, of which 161 were done in 2023. Going to make sure we do a bit more work on that one this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have a couple of thousand in it easily easily because well we'll come back to whip go in a minute i'm not gonna talk about whip go yet the other spooky one that we're doing um i'm working on this one with nadine of nad's x stitch as a sal we're using the hashtag spooky house sal this is this is what it looked like at the end of the year last year and it's not really a great deal different it's more different than the other one was than Blippi Hollow was um, although I'm not sure it will show up um, 
But here it is. This is what it looks like at the moment. It is stitched on 16 count Ada in Mirage by Picture This Plus. The design is called Spooky House and it's done by Sandra Parlo. The company that's printed it is X's and O's, spelled O-H-S. So yeah, and it's at 4,554 stitches of which 645 were done in 2023. I know that Nadine is further along and she's doing the, the moon as well. I probably will start the moon soon, but I'm stupidly doing mine in glow in the dark chronic. Which is not the easiest of beasts to work with. But we'll see how that one goes this year. Ooh, who's next? Nevermore. You saw this the other day. This is what Nevermore looked like at the end of last year. And this is what it looks like now. Not much different. Did four rows in it. It's currently at 1,284 stitches, of which I did 284 this year. So I started it off by doing 1,000 last year. No, start that again because it's already last year. 1,000 stitches in 2022 because it was on whip go. I only did 284 this year. You can see where this is going. The fabric is 18 count Ada in Feldspar by Picture This Plus. Um, let me just take one of the cover things off. It's really difficult to see. Apologies for, but that that's not coffee spilt on it. That's the colorway of the fabric. So it's greys and sort of beigey browns. Um, yeah, probably more obvious this side. Let's see it down the bottom there. Yeah. And there's a bit more. I'll pull those two off. Needs a good iron. But yeah. Which it will get when I move move it on the Q-snap. But don't want to wrestle it in and out of the Q-snap too often if I can help it. Again, need to get more work in on all of those. But I'm quite happy to do that. Right, a couple of big ones now. Have I missed one? No, 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 bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, no, not yet. Right, okay. I can't show you those two yet because they've started on this year. Right. So that just leaves this one from last year. Uh, it looked like this at the start of 2023. Does not look very different now. <laughs> Spot the difference. Very little. Um, filled in the last couple of bits here and have done the... I say I'm doing what it looked like from last year rather than what it looked like when you last saw it. Because <laughs> we did that a couple of days ago. Um... And then you can see the difference more. So I've done the rest of them at the bottom here and started on the rest of the bottle. Again, I'm going to try and put more effort into this one this year so that we can get this finished and Brom can have back his, his Q-snap then. He's got a good collection of Q-snaps. Two of them are empty at the moment. Right. So that moves us on to things that we started this year. First up is Cherith, which I started back in January. Textured Treasures. Um, I can't remember what size the canvas is. I think it's something akin to a 14 count, but um, perhaps Karen can, can advise me. Um, so this is how far we've got this year. Let me hold it. Um, I did that. <laughs> yeah, there's a good reason for wearing this. Um, this colourway for Cherith is specifically for me, but obviously once it's stitched up and Karen has a model for it, she may well release it as an available um, colourway for you to pick from for the main chart. Again, more work needed on it this year. And, of course, the other one that's of a similar vein that I started this year was the Poison Garden. Now, the last time you saw it, it looked like this because I didn't hadn't started at the start of the year and I haven't shown it to anybody as part of Flossmas. But I have done a little tiny bit of work on it. 
there's going to be a lot more work done on it more on that in a minute but here's where we're at um i've got a lamp in the way here so i'm a bit stuck for how close i can get it to you so i have now done all of this dark aubergine it's a gloriana silk in aubergine and what you can't see is here there are 13 tiny stitches that are one over one the fabric is a 28 count even weave in an antique white um, you can do them on different colours, but for me, I like going with Au Naturel because then it shows up all the colours really well. And of course, what, what video doesn't do is show you how sparkly this is. There's plenty of gold thread. There's beads. There's loads of speciality stitches. This is going to... None of these are specifically going to be a focus piece this year, but what they are going to be is... Um, given a little more time and attention. I'm going to attempt to do, I haven't been able to work on it today and the weather's been miserable, so the light's been really bad as well. Um, but ideally I'd like to work on either Siren's Lament or the Chatelaine every day. And ideally alternate days get easier in the summer as it gets lighter and brighter. I start work at half eight in the morning, so I don't even have time to sit and stitch before work really. Not if I want to reasonable amount of sleep <laughs> not get up too early not get up when it's dark at the moment so yes yeah, so i do love my chatelaine this was bought for me for my big 5-0 last year no the year before yeah so brom bought it the the chart and the kit for me for my birthday in 2022 but the components and everything didn't arrive until probably about March or April 2023. So you can go back and you can watch the unboxing videos and everything. And I started, I put the first seven stitches in on my birthday. So we are moving forward. I'm not working at Belushi Stitches pace or many other people's pace, but I'm working at my pace and I'm happy with that. I'd like to get more done though, because I would like to see it finished. And the rate I'm going at, it's going to outlive me. I want it finished and up on the wall. So we'll get cracking. We shall get cracking. Excuse me while I just change pages. Bring that one up. Okay, so. New starts this year. So we were working, we've just talked about Cherith and Poison Garden. Other new starts have been... The Three of Crafts, which is charted by Night Spirit Studio. Then, obviously, I don't have a before. There's no point in showing you a, a previously, but this is where we currently are at. We've done 1,047 stitches on it this year, using all the call for colours. But the one difference that I'm going to make to it, it might be two actually, the middle black heart I'm going to fill in with... Um, Petite seed beads from Mill Hill. And the design calls for a, an ivory coloured design around the outside. I might throw some gold beads into that because I think that might look quite nice. So there's that one. We then have the pirate, which I'm doing as a stitch along with my friends on the Stitch Bandit. It's a uh, Pirates Ahoy game or something, I think it is. But we all saw that when this was released by Cottage Garden Samplings, we all decided that we absolutely had to, to do it. So far, that's 1,888 stitches. I'll try and hold it still for you. We've not done an awful lot on it, but it's not huge. So this one will be finished by the end of the year. You heard it here, folks. This will be finished by the end of the year. So will this one. Get more on that in a minute. Okay. And last but not least is my Alluring Sorceress. So she was a new start this year as well. Haven't done very much on this one either. I've done 1,068 stitches. Oh, hang on. Forget my own head. Bog Standard 14 Count Ada. This, however, 
is 32 count hand dyed Belfast linen in the colourway heirloom by Pole Stitches. The same as I am currently using for cryptids because I decided that I wasn't going to use the piece I'd bought to do Supernatural because I've become disenchanted with that particular series. Never mind. So Alluring Sorceress, charted by Dimensions, the artist by James Himsworth, he has lots of different sorcerers, sorcerers and this sorceress, I think he's only done one female. Um, also a generic 14 count black ada, and as I said, I've done 1,068 stitches. I started this on the 1st of January, 2023, as part of the Theresa Made Me Do It Sal. Haven't kept up on this particularly well because I was only stitching on it when Teresa was doing a live stream. Teresa hasn't done very many live streams, particularly once the summer hit. So I'm actually going to have to pull my finger out and stitch it at other times as well because I do love this particular one. Alera has done it, I believe. Um, so yeah, this is just the skirt. So you can imagine like, that's the size of my head. She's easily two to three times the size of my head in total and I'm looking forward to doing it just standard 14 count black ada but there you go oh sorry I tilted you <laughs> brought my, my lamp into interview there right I'm not going to bring out all my finishes because this is a whip parade not a finish parade but we will talk about them because I'm not going to do a finish parade um I have finished over Christmas calories don't count by it's called Christmas Calories by Sue Hillis Designs. That had about 3,893 stitches on it, if my adding up was correct, not including all the back stitch. I also did the Stitch Doodles Advent 2022, finished that off over Christmas. Definitely didn't count the <clears throat> definitely didn't count the stitches. <laughs> Sorry. Um definitely didn't count the stitches in that one. And um if anybody wants to freeze frame it and count the seed stitches, go ahead. I would be fascinated to know. Um, I did Wednesday's Beach Hut, which is available in our Etsy shop if you want to go back and have a look through the archives. And also the Purple Emperor. So Wednesday's Beach Hut was 6,095 stitches. Purple Emperor was what, 1,407 stitches. And um, which I've managed to stitch in like three days, I think in the end. Purple Emperor will be available for sale in March. Or until March. But I'm also taking part in a couple more of these zines next um, in this year, 2024. One in March, one in July, I think. I also stitched Moan Amkara by Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole. I don't know how many stitches were in that. A thousand maybe, if that. And I did a couple of mill hills. I didn't keep track of what I stitched and how many stitches they were. And of course, the, the, the Ottoman by um, X Stitch Little Stories <clears throat> on Etsy. On, <clears throat> on Etsy. Oh, give me a froggy. So, total stitch count for the year is well over 37,000. I would say it's closer to 40 with the mill hills that I've done. Next year, I would like it to be double that if I can. So if I can get it to 80, that would be marvellous. 45 I'll accept, 60 is probably most likely. We'll see how we get on. Um, to plans going forward. I did wonder whether or not I was going to do WIPGO, but WIPGO did make me touch all of my projects in 2022 and by not doing it in 2023 at least one project nearly didn't get touched at all and a couple of the others haven't um that which does not kill us didn't get touched at all well it did get touched last year but then but only because i made myself do it over christmas same as sleepy hollow um because they weren't on my tiny decisions wheel so when i was spinning the wheel it wasn't there was no chance it was going to come up so I have decided to sign up to WIPGO. I've got my board here. <clears throat> I've downloaded Teresa Little Stitches um, tracking 
spreadsheets. My word is sheer genius at tracking spreadsheets or just spreadsheets in general. I'm okay. I'm I'm slightly I'm above a beginner. I'm probably close to intermediate, but not quite. I'm certainly not at, at Teresa's standard. I have managed to slightly adjust the stitches one so that it will also count the days that I stitch because I'd quite like to know both. But that's all I can do. I can't get it to total on the on the year in review and I'm not going to fiddle with her her spreadsheet any further because it was enough of a stress and a hassle just doing what I did today <clears throat> but my whip go board is here um you can't read it obviously it's too small too small to print but I haven't put on it the Chatelaine or Siren's Lament because they are going to be worked on every other day as well as whatever is called that month. So I currently have 14 whips. 12 have gone on to, well, I say 12. 12 have gone on to here. So 11 whips will get touched twice as a bare minimum this year. One will only get touched once and finished. That's the three of crafts. I'm hoping that I can do the same with the pirate, but I suspect it's going to take two touches for it to be finished. And I have also put in for two new starts. So where I've got three of crafts in only once, the second time it would have gone in, I've put a new start and the free space in the middle is a new start. And I do have a couple of things that I want to do this year. Hopefully, I will be able to get my fabric sorted out for um, Into the Darkness by Passione Ricamo, the witch queen. Queen of the witches. So I want to get that started this year if I can. And I've also bought the Northern Expressions Needlework Christmas Twisted Band Sampler. Um, I have got some threads to start it with. I was going to be on a stash ban this year. There's a couple of exceptions for that. One is Big Stitch 2024 because there's no way I'm going to a big retreat like that and not buying stash when people like Roxy Floss are going to be there. It's not happening. I'm, I'm, I, I am taking money and I am going to spend. <laughs> um, also, we've got a coven retreat this year. So if we end up anywhere in the vicinity of the Nimble Thimble or um, Create Nostalgia, we will be stopping off and paying a visit to them um in between these so all of the pieces with one exception are set for five days so everything is five days on this five days on that five days on this five days on that working on the theory that 10 days each you're looking at around about one and a half thousand stitches per item per piece per project and in between times I will spin the dice when I have days that I haven't got anything to stitch on so to speak because of course I will still be doing the Chatelaine and the si and Siren's Lament in alternation fingers crossed and I may also start mill. I don't think I'm counting mill hill kits in this because mill hill kits are so small and they're very portable. So they may get thrown into the mix as well. Let me say, I also want to finish uh, cryptids this year, as I've said before, it's got to be done. So in terms of the channel, hopefully going to do more stitch with me's, more chats. Um, Probably going to try and do a, lot, a couple of lives if we can work out what we're doing and how we're doing it. So there might be a couple of um, test ones pop up while we work out what on earth we are doing. And I might start, as I say, might start doing like Belushi Stitches does with her Chatelaine with mine because there are so few videos about them out there. There's lots of... This is what I did last time and here's where I'm at now. But the actual talk through of what stitches are going in and what colours we're using and what threads and just doing a, like five, ten minutes of an actual sped up stitch with me. 
there's not many you know trying to find people that have done the one that you've done evening in the park's quite easy but poison garden there's not quite so many of those out there there are but they're not not on screen so i think that's it for tonight I'm going to sign out with the usual so i hope that 2024 finds you all happy wealthy wise and well while you're here don't forget to like comment subscribe ring the bell and i will see you next time i don't know when that's going to be i am um, hopefully brum will be with me it the very least it'll be in two weeks time but you never know what might pop up in the meantime take care everybody bye <laughs>